Hey -o. it's Doc. Just here with a, uh, a quick little claw hammer lesson on Red Rocking Chair. Uh, I played this song a lot online and uh, someone asked me to do a lesson on it. Um, so I figured, why not? Um, this should be a quick one. I might do a longer one uh, later and I'll make some tabs for it too. I just haven't gotten around to it. Um, but I play it more or less kind of like Doc Boggs. Um, except he used like, he used like, he used Seeger style up picking, I think, and then he went to like finger style. But, um, I don't, I don't play it that way. I play with claw hammer. I just kind of like, I uh, use the framework that he established. Um, it's in sawmill tuning. I usually play it down in F, but I tuned up to G so that it would be easy for everyone to follow along. Um, I like it that better down a little lower. I think it, it suits my voice better and I think it suits the song better, but you know, that's just my opinion. Um, a lot of people play this song, uh, but a lot of people play it a little bit different. A lot of times it's played, it's almost, you know, it's played in sawmill a lot. Um, there's a major version too, you know. ways to play this. A lot of people play it um, out of G. And then a lot of people play it, I don't know if you can really call it wrong because it's all just made up folk songs, but they play it just like a regular like Doria mode tune like this. Pull back the curtains, let me see the sun. And sometimes I do play them that way, but most of the time I play them the way Doc did, and I, and I think he played it out of the D minor position. So, so this is like the home chord, you know, D minor. And sawmill tuning. If, not, if you don't know sawmill tuning, I think this lesson might be too advanced for you, but it's, it's G, D, G, C, D. So you just raise up the B to a C one half step. Um, but yeah, so let me just go over the chords with the lyrics real quick, and there's a bunch of lyrics to this song, um, so you can use whatever you want, I'm not going to go over all of them, I'm just going to give you a feel of it, so, um, the two chords are D minor, and then uh, F, and those are the only two chords really I use for this uh, song, so, sorry, like I said, I usually sing in an F, and I'm not a good singer anyways, that you kind of do like a tag or you don't so it's either them and match them. I've heard times where they do that, you know, where they go, pull back the curtain, let me see the sun. It's been like a long rainy day. Where can I play? We can throw it all away. I just can't make a living for you. Oh no, can't make a living for you. See what I did there? You, you don't tag it, the, you don't repeat it the first time, but you do the second time. Um, but those are the options. Um, and that's, that's, that's how it goes. Do, 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 do,
that's just the chords in the song, but let's go over, you know, how to play the melody and everything. So hopefully you're all familiar with basic claw hammer. I'm not going to do anything too fancy, but this also isn't just like, this isn't like the easiest song ever either, I guess. I don't know. Um, basically, you know, a lot of times when you're playing song melody, you stay in this position, but for this one, we're, this is going to be the home position, this D minor chord. So anytime you don't know what to do, you should probably go back there. Okay. Um, so, and, and I'm playing out of these chords, so I'm not going. Although you can do that, I'm going. You know, because I'm, I play along with myself, I'm trying to fill up all that sonic space. If you were playing in a band, maybe you wouldn't want to be doing all those brushes. You would just want to be playing it like that, but I'm going to teach you how to do it. Uh, out of the chord position, and then you can do it whatever fucking way you want after that, okay? All right, so D minor. First, you're going to hammer onto the uh, second string. You can either go or just go. So, do, do, and then take this finger away and hit it again. So it's... back on to do it hit it and then hit this first string so and I'm I do these in between I'm doing a skip note right there but you can do a So we go. So do do. So two o two o three o. Back to D minor. And now you're gonna hammer on to the F chord. Second fret, third string. Close up. So let me do that real slow. basically the song. 
if you have any questions just ask um like i said i might do a longer more in-depth lesson if uh people want it and i'll make some tabs for this song too um but this is a really it's a really cool song i usually i, I played a lot and uh, one thing i like to do is transition from this song into voodoo child by Jimi hendrix because it's a very similar song if you think about it Stand, standing in, standing in next to a mountain. Chop it down with the edge of my hand. So, uh, yeah, hope you guys uh, got something out of that. And I uh, hope you like the way I play it.